Hello world, and welcome to another episode of We Love to Talk About Exciting Subjects in Science, Medicine, Robotics, Astronomy, Futuristic Ideas, Music, or Anything Interesting in the News. So let's get into it. Did you know in the news, distant memories of fear lurk in your brain and may have found their heading place. Now, this article states that recollections of traumatic events can continue to resurface in the brain long after moments has passed leading to conditions such as post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. Now, I believe that this is pretty much true because things that have happened to all of us, even myself as a child, I can recall some of those things up. Now, to continue with the article, it states, while it's clear the area of the brain called the hippocampus plays the central role in the memory's formation. The physical nature of fear's long-term storage as a remote memory has remained elusive. In this study, they study on MIS, these scientists from University of California, Riverside, in the U.S. have outlined some of the key mechanisms through which remote fear memories are consolidated and identified the physical embodiment of distant fears in a prominent part of our brains. So by understanding about how these traumatic flashbacks get embedded, we might be able to improve therapies and treatments for those suffering from them. Now, these researchers use MIS engineered with nerve cells that could be identified easily during fear responses, along with a mix of viruses that cut important nervous pathways through, well, thought to be involved with memory consolidation or help identify key connections between neurons. So this article also states that an electric shock served as memory fear event for the transgenic mice. When the test subjects returned to the location of the shock, a month later, they froze, indicating that remote fear memories stored somewhere in the brain were indeed being recalled. Closely look at various brain samples revealed a steady reinforcing of connections within a small group of memory neurons and which neurons in what's known as the prefrontal cortex, PFC, an area responsible for decision-making and cognitive behavior. Now, further tests show that when these particular memory neurons were severed, The mice were unable to recall remote fears while still remembering the more recent trauma. In other words, the PFC memory neurons formed a physical structure or engrams for remote fear memories. The mice then exposed to the same locations but then without the aversive stimulus. That was enough to reduce the fear response and change the circuitry of these neurons relative to the traumatic event the researchers demonstrated. Now, this neuroscientist, if I say your name incorrectly, I'm sorry, Jun Hyeyong Cho, stated that it's the prefrontal memory circuits that are progressively strengthened after traumatic events and the strengthening plays a critical role in how fear memories mature to stabilize form in the cerebral cortex for permanent storage. Using similar mechanisms, other non-fear remote memories could also be permanently stored in the PFC. There's more work to do 
to look at these mechanisms more closely. The researchers plan to see whether a selective weakening of the PSC memory circuits will suppress the recall of remote fear memories, which could then inform treatments in people. Mr. Chow stated, interestingly, the extinction of remote fear memory weakening the prefrontal memory circuits that were previously strengthened to store the remote fear memory. Moreover, other manipulations that block the strengthening of the PFC memory circuits also prevented the recall of remote fear memory. Around 6% of the U.S. population suspected to experience some form of PTSD in their lives. And knowing how these memories get stored and then brought back is going to be crucial in figuring out how to treat individuals with fear and trauma-based disorders. Now, I believe in this particular study and I appreciate it. This research has been published in Nature Neuro Neuroscience. Now, you know, if there's a good to this, there's also a bad because they can figure out how certain things work, then they probably could go in there and erase people's memories or, or, you know, make them overlook certain things or put things there that are not really true. But who says that's not happening already? So what's your opinion on this article? How do you feel about this? Let me know your opinion. Until then, stay safe and I will talk to you soon.